Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a little about uh, the differences between direct current and alternating current, or DC and, and AC. Um, so the first part, first part we're going to talk about direct current. Um, we just have, I just have a basic current or basic circuit right here. We got a battery um, symbolized by this uh, a long line, a short line with a positive and negative end, um, and then the circuit wire and a resistor right here, the squiggly line, then it comes back to the negative end of the battery. So in direct current, it's normally a battery, and um, it, the current flows from the positive end all the way to the negative end. So it's going to go along this, along this, this circuit, go in this direction, through the resistor, down through it, and all the way back around, back to the negative end of the battery. And that is essentially what a direct current is. It just flows in one direction, the current and that's it. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the alternating current, or AC. Um, so again, we have a simple circuit here. We've got a, a source of power of an alternating circuit, um, and then just a simple resistor over here on this side. So the difference, well, for AC current, it's going to send current out in one direction, right? And it's going to go in one direction for a certain amount of time, and it's going to go in one direction, but then after that said certain amount of time, it will alternate the current, the direction of the current. So it will switch from going um, around clockwise to around counterclockwise now. Okay, so that means that this alternating battery, it's constantly changing from this as the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal, and then it switches, and then this becomes the positive, and this becomes the negative. And that's what causes the alternating flow of the current in a circuit. Okay, so to understand the differences between AC and DC current, I'm just gonna draw, draw up some simple graphs um, relating um, the voltage and over time. So we've got DC, we've got AC, right? And say we have, we're gonna draw this graph for both sides. Okay. So for the direct current, as we said, there's just one battery, one positive end, one negative end, and it just flows in one direction. So what happens with this is this is voltage, voltage, and this is time. Okay, so what it's gonna send out, depending on what the battery it is, um, it will send out a voltage at a certain level, a certain amount, and it'll be constant for a certain amount of time. And it'll stay the same, same current, and then it'll kind of just drop off as soon as the battery runs out of juice or energy. Um, and then the AC current, the alternating current, it's a little different. It's gonna start at zero, and it's gonna um, grow, it's gonna be going in one direction to a height, and then alternate, when the battery alternates, it will switch directions and go the other way and then come back up the other way. Um, so the voltage is always changing from positive to negative. Um, one um, important concept about this is that the voltage right here and right here is the max voltage. And this right here is when it's changing. So it doesn't change up here from going um, positive voltage to negative voltage, it changes right here at the, when it crosses over the x-axis of time. Okay, so now that we know a little bit of, about AC and DC current, um, we can now um, apply this into the, to the real world. Um, so applications of direct current would be pretty much anything that is battery powered. So you could have an Xbox controller, um, gaming controller, remote control, RC car, that anything that uses batteries will use this because a battery has a positive end and a negative end, and it won't alternate the amount of voltage going through that said, um, said thing. Um, alternating current is a little bit different. Alternating current is usually um, power or current that comes out of the wall socket. Um, and so that will be doing the alternating current all the way. So a good application is just like if you put a plug a light bulb 
um, a light fixture into the wall, it will, um, it will behave a little like this. Um, a question you may ask is, okay, well, why, um, why, why can't I see the flickering right here? If you have a light bulb plugged in, um, you should be able to see it turn on and off and on and off and on and off very rapidly um, due, to this, uh, um, due to this concept. And the answer is, is that it is doing this, this shift of going forward and backward, positive and negative, very, very quickly. And so I, we'll show you a um, little clip of a light bulb doing this. Okay, so here we have a video of a light bulb. Um, it's plugged into an alternating uh, current source. And as you can see, this video is being filmed in slow motion. Um, and so you can, you can see that flickering. Um, it's very faint, but it's, you're able to see it, and that's because of the alternating current between the high um, voltage and the low voltage.